All right, hello guys. Welcome back to another tutorial video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use sprites in Roblox Studio. Uh, since it's much more simple than just using each image. So that's what I'm gonna try to teach you. Oh, let's put that over there. So first of all. You want to actually have, you know, your animation set up. So I get an animation here. You render, if you can, render it as a PNG sequence. Otherwise, you can use like Easy GIF to convert it to PNG sequence. So once you have that, you want to download this lovely application here. If I can find this, is called um, Glue It. I saw this on someone's video. And I couldn't find any other, you know, sprite sheet tool at all. So this is kind of, it's kind of janky and it doesn't like give you any clear update because let's see, updated five years ago. So you just go to releases and download the XE. Um, that's really the only one I can actually think of that is safe or works. So, once you've done that, it should look like this, and so you're going to just click add, and select the first one, then press shift, and select the last one, just press open. Then you, uh, you want to select six columns for this one to work, or you can, uh, you know, you can change it, but six is what's going to work with the script, and you can obviously change the script, so it'll work is just like one line. So yeah, you just press glue it. And um, a giant like screen should come up, and you can just press close, and you can press save. And, you know, you just save it to wherever you have it. I accidentally did one column here. If I can open it, I did one column, so you can switch it to t uh, six. Make sure you switch it to six. And so once that's done, we're gonna open Roblox Studio. And I've already have a little extra one set up here. So this, I have the actual button underneath. I have the label on top. So, you upload the entire sprite, just like that. I click it. <coughs> and yours is not gonna look like this. It's actually gonna look like this. So you're gonna be, it's gonna be like little tiny. You can't really see it. So, we're going to set this to 170. Um, yours is probably not gonna be like that. You're gonna find the perfect size. Because it's very... It's very like not accurate at all so you know if i go to 160 it's gonna be like kind of a little bit too big and you can't get it perfect that's what i found out you can never get it perfect i mean you probably can but it's like a tedious process and i can't do that because i don't have enough brain cells for that but it's gonna look a little janky but it's fine if it's gonna be like a speedy animation mine's just 20 20 frames so yeah so we're actually gonna just delete this this script right here and insert a new one so we uh this is for if you want to follow along with it which i do think you should so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to start off by <coughs> doing local frames so this is what frame we're on and this is just for if you know how many frames your uh images and if you don't really care then you can leave this blank but if you want an accurate one you want to set the first frame to zero i'm gonna do max frame so it ends off on the right frame just like that i'm gonna do y oops while wait oops do <clears throat> four i equals one to six do uh frame equals frame which is saying that zero uh this frame equals zero plus one so we're basically counting what frame we are on then we're gonna do if frame equals max frames then break so i'm not quite sure if that works but 
because I did test it, but I don't remember if it works. So we're gonna do if i, which is this, equals six. We're gonna do then script dot parent dot image rect offset, and you can do this simpler by making it a variable. You, know, you can do it easier, but just for the sake of this, we're gonna do <coughs> equals vector two, which I accidentally kept using udim a while earlier. So um, we're gonna do uh, zero script parent image oh gosh image rect offset dot y. And then we're gonna do plus script parent image rect uh, size dot x. So basically, if you want to, you know, move to the next frame, it's going to be like this. Oh uh, no, like that. So it will look, you know, kind of like already on the next frame. So if I do 170 plus 170, you know, we're on 340 and it's, you know, slowly moving about, so that's what this is doing, so, uh, this is actually changing the Y, so, <laughs> I'm so confused on my own code, um, okay, so this is actually changing the, uh, Y, so every time it reaches 6 frames, which is here, it's going to go down, which is why this is set to zero. So think about it, X is going like, like this way. Okay. And Y is going this way, you know, down. It's going down. So this is changing it every six frames so it goes down. So we're gonna set else to script up here and direct offset. It's pretty much the same deal here, but we're just changing the so we do script parent image right offset x plus script parent image oops image right size dot x and it doesn't really matter what you set it to you know you can set it to either y or x because both values are the exact same just make sure that you capitalize it or you press tab to you know switch it so then we do script dot Parent image rec offset y. So basically, this mostly stays the same. Oh, uh, what do I do? Oh, whoops. Vector two dot a. Okay, now we're good. So basically, this is this one is the one that's setting the x, and it's just letting y stay the same. And this one is setting the Y, and it resets back to zero, so we are on this frame. So like, if we go all the way to here, it will reset to this frame, which is exactly what we want it to do. <clears throat> so, now that that's done, we're going to set it to weight. And you're probably going to have to do some math for this, for this, because you want to get it to the exact speed uh, at... Uh, 15 frames per second or whatever you put it at but just remember it's going to be a bigger file size and glue it can't really do so if you want to have more frames you want to have a lower uh, resolution so it doesn't glitch out uh, so I'm going to do if frame equals max frames here I'm going to do then break uh, this is this was just for my sake, so I did print frame. If you're having any issues, then you should probably use print. But I'm not quite sure if this works. We can always just test it out in case it does. Well, it looks like it worked. Both of them worked the first try, so. Um, that's how to put a sprite animation into Roblox. It's actually not as difficult as a lot of people think it is. I'm actually going to just hide that real quick. So yeah, I hope you liked it. I really don't know what else to say because, yeah, I'll probably do a follow-up that may be better or do if you guys need it or want it. 
you know, I'll just do it, because why not? So, yep. Yeah.